Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to the garden. Today I am digging up three new garden beds. These are going from grass to garden and uh, it's a battle. It's always a battle. We'll save that for another time. I double, double dug them and uh, added some compost and added all kinds of things into it, but they still don't really look that great. I just laid down some of my landscape fabric and we're going to transplant. I have my winter sowing results here. I have this lettuce mix. This is leaf lettuce. These turned out really nicely. I have a bunch of containers full of these and you can see uh, somebody asked about how I break these apart. I just kind of wiggle them apart. It's not that difficult as long as you don't sow too many seeds. You usually don't have very many problems. Now the first year I winter sowed it was a problem and uh, I learned my lesson the hard way. So keep the seeds not so many to a container. Next up I have kale. This is just a mixed kale and some iceberg lettuce is going in. I know not not everybody likes iceberg lettuce, but it's like a personal challenge for me. I've never grown good iceberg lettuce. Uh, last but not least in this bed, we have some onions. These transplants are kind of small, but I'm just going to do it anyway. All I'm doing here is I am planting my iceberg lettuces. Uh, the spacing's about, I guess, nine inches, uh, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go back and fill in the gaps with my onion transplants. So hopefully, if this stuff grows well, I always say if, because I never believe in myself, um, we'll have some head lettuce with some onions in between it. But uh, that would be in a perfect world. We'll just have to see what happens. Anyway, watch me plant onions. This is great. Great entertainment. I'm, I've never been very successful with onions. I don't know if it's just where I live or if I don't know what I'm doing. Really, there ain't no telling, honestly. Do you have any onion growing tips? Tell me all about it in the comments. I tried to overwinter some onions this year and hopefully it works. We'll find out. They're still alive, so that's something to brag about, I guess. After I went ahead and transplanted all of the onions in my container, I have these Oroch. Now, I definitely would not winter sow these again. These things grow really fast. The days of maturity are like 34 days. Just direct sow them. I direct sowed them. They're doing great. They're pretty cold tolerant. Not totally cold tolerant, but for the most part. I also have some cilantro that I'm sticking in here that I had in my containers. And some pansies, of course. Uh, somebody told me you couldn't winter sow pansies. It wouldn't work. Well, I mean, I guess it worked. Anywho, I'm just going to stick those in the little spaces I have left over and take a look at my big mess. Yes, this is great. Good job. Beautiful garden. Keep going. Uh, here's a finished look at this bed. We have all this lettuce and it's looking kind of limp and sad, but, but I'm not going to worry. After I transplant things, the plants always seem to look like bleh. I'm going to give them good water and they'll be okay. The next bed I'm going to work on is my brassica bed. I have up for some Brussels sprouts, some broccoli some cauliflower, and some cabbage. Now listen, I played some kind of like sick joke on myself. I've been getting these, you know, the free Brunswick cabbage from Baker Creek every time I order. And I literally have enough cabbage to start a cabbage farm, like seven acres of cabbage. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to start so much cabbage, but I, as I was transplanting, I was just like, why did I do that? Like it was just, it was like some kind of sick joke. I'm gonna give a lot of cabbage away, long story short. So here's a quick look at uh, the brassica bed and the lettuce and all that. So far, so good. Lots of progress. I, yes, I realize my landscape fabric could be laid down better, but this yard, um, it's a mess, okay? So I'm not going to beat myself up over it. All right, now on to the flowers. I need to put out some flowers in a third bed. Now, as you can imagine, by this time, I was absolutely exhausted, and I basically hit the wall. Like, you know, the wall where you're just like, I want to quit right now but I need to get this done. Should I quit? I want to quit. I really want to quit. But alas, I didn't quit. We have fever few. These grow really well direct so early in the spring and winter so. So really whatever you want to do with those. I have some straw flower. Same for straw flower. These are really easy to direct so also. In addition to straw flower, I have the cherry caramel annual flux. I like annual flux because um, the germination can be sporadic and winter sowing really helps it. And this is, I don't know what this is. Anybody know what this is? Somebody? I don't know. It's something. I also have sweet peas. I just went ahead and took out the top of those and pinched them back. And I started these in my two liter bottles as well. The key to winter sowing these is do not pre-soak them or they will rot. Learn that the hard way too. Anyhow, I messily planted this bed and you know, I'm just going to hope for the best. I'm sure everything will do fine. 
it was just one of those things, you know, is I tried to do too much. I can only blame myself. That's it. I'm gonna go. Bye, guys. I'll talk to y'all later.